Hello and welcome to the dashboard course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I'll show you how to use Spark Lines in Excel. Spark Lines is a new feature in Excel 2010 and 2013. So if you're using prior versions, you will not be able to use this feature. So let's get started. Here I have the tourism data and these are number of arrivals for each of these 10 countries. These are the top 10 countries and I've got this data from the World Bank's website. So it's a bit outdated. Uh, but nevertheless, I would show you how to use spark lines on this data. If you look at this data set, this is quite difficult to read because there are lots of numbers and if you have to identify trend then you would have to manually go from each country and each number and then calculate it yourself to see if it, the value is higher or lower and uh, how is it changing. So now let's see how Sparklines can add a little more analysis to your report or your dashboards. So I, to insert a Sparkline I would select this cell and I would go to insert and within insert I have this group spark lines and here I have these three options line column and win loss let me show you how to insert a line spark line I would click on this and it shows this dialog box which says create spark lines first I have to give it a data range for which I want the spark line in this case it would be this data set for France and then I need to give the location range since I've already selected J3 the location range is already pre-populated and as soon as I click OK it inserts a spark line and you can see that this spark line is nothing but a line chart which is there within a cell so spark line is nothing but a mini chart or an in-cell chart that would fit exactly in one cell so these are very good because they would save you space and you can easily fit them in your dashboard plus they give a lot more analysis as compared to raw data. Now if I simply drag this for all these cells then I have this spark lines feature for all these countries and you can see this is better when you are analyzing data because you would see that this is the trend that the number of arrivals has followed in uh, France and uh, similarly for all the other countries. So this is how you can insert spark lines. Now there are different kinds of spark lines that you can insert. I showed you three. So let's go back to insert. So here is the line spark line. You can also insert a column spark line which would be nothing but vertical bar chart and you can also insert win loss spark line if you're talking about say profit or or margins then you can use win loss because it would show uh, the positive value as a blue bar chart uh, and negative value as red bar chart which would be above if it's positive and below if it is negative so I'll show you how it works while Excel charts give you a lot of flexibility spark lines are a bit restrictive and you cannot do a lot of things using it but uh, still there are a couple of things that you can do to customize your spark line so for example uh, this looks good but it could be even better if I could highlight certain points maybe the high point the low point or I can format it a bit so to do that if you click on any of the cells that has spark lines or the entire data uh, this entire range you would see that there is a design tab this is a contextual tab which would only appear if you select any of the cells which has spark lines now if I go to design you would see that I have all these options and I can use all these options to customize the spark lines so let's see each of these options individually first is edit data here I can edit the group location and the data point location so for example if I click on it you would see that it says the data range is B3 to I12 which is this entire data range and the location of my spark line group because I've created all these spark lines together so it becomes a group and the location of my spark line are these if I want to change it I can definitely change it it's not necessary that you should have your spark line right beside your data you can have it anywhere rather you can have it on different worksheets as well but I'll keep it here in this uh, demo but if you want to you can change the location if you 
if I select again one of the spark line and go here you can edit one single spark line now uh, notice what happens if I change one of the spark lines here if I want to change uh, the spark line from line chart to column chart you would see that all the spark lines would change the reason being that this is now a group and if you make a change to one of the spark lines all the spark line changes but if you do not want it so let me press ctrl Z and now if I only want to edit this spark line I would have to come here and I would select edit single spark lines data and then it would show me this dialog box where I can change the data range so this is how you can edit these spark lines individually as well and then there is hidden and empty cells and how you can treat this so for example let's say I do not have 2007 numbers and as soon as I remove it there is a break in the spark line you can see that the data is missing and then there is a gap I can select how I want to treat this data gap so for example if I go to design and I go to hidden and empty cells you would see that it opens something uh, which is also there in Excel charting on how you want to show empty cells Do you want to show it as gaps the way it is shown now or I want to show it as a zero if I show it as a zero see what happens it gives me this dip and maybe this is not the best way to represent data but in case you want to use zero you can do it or you can connect data points with the lines. so what it will do is it will simply connect the data points if you do not have this data it's okay it will connect these two data points so this is sometimes much better if you have a huge data set and you do not want these gaps to crop up and then there is this option which is which says show data in hidden rows and columns now see what happens if I hide these columns my spark line changes because my spark line now only shows me uh, this for five values which are 2005 6 10 11 and 12 but I do not want this maybe I'm creating a dashboard and I do not want to show them all the data or the data is hidden and I still want the spark line to show I would simply go here to the design tab and I would say show data in hidden rows and columns and when I click OK it shows me the remaining data as well let me unhide these and again go back to the design tab here as I showed you you can create line spark lines you can also have column or win loss spark lines if you create column spark lines it will show you something like this and in win loss spark lines it will be something like this let me uh, show you what happens if I have negative data point since these are number of arrivals I do not have a negative data point but in case I have one it is shown here below uh, the axis the axis is imaginary as of now you cannot see it because I've not made it visible but you can see that the positive values are above the axis and the negative value is below the axis again if I go back to design I can change it to column or line chart and again you'll see that there are changes let me not have the negative value for the demo there are these options which you can select to show a high point so for example if I click on this you can see that all the high points are highlighted in a red dot so here if you see in France uh, this is the highest value which means that the uh, number of arrivals in France have been going up and 2012 has been the best year for France as compared to say Spain where uh, it's somewhere here which is the third year probably in 2007 Spain saw the maximum number of arrivals but then it has not been the same story and they have seen lesser number of arrivals so it's instantly tells you where is the highest point and, and adds another layer of analysis because your user can now instantly identify where was the high point or where is the low point similarly you can have the low point as well again uh, you can change the color of these high points and low points if you want or you can uh, individually highlight it so you can select high point low point uh, the first point or the last point uh, you can select markers so if you do that all the data points would be highlighted you again have the option of selecting what kind of marker do you want you can change these styles similarly we did it, did we do for charts or we do for tables you can also highlight negative points in this case I do not have negative points uh, but let me show you what happens if I do have negative points if I make this negative you can see that it is highlighted in a different color and uh, I would suggest if you're highlighting negative points try and stick to red color because 
red color indicates something is wrong or, or a danger or something like this which is uh, which highlights the data point very nicely you have all these options where you can customize the look of your spark line if you want to change the color of the spark line bar then you can do it from here if I want I can have a green spark line if you want to change the marker color you can do it from here if you want to change the width of the spark line you can do it from here uh, which says weight and if I select say one and a half then the thickness of my spark line has increased similarly you can change the marker color you can identify what kind of uh, points uh, color you want for the negative point for markers for high point low point first point and last point you can also play around with the axis so in this case it's a general axis but if you want it to be a date axis you can do it in case you're plotting dates then you can use date axis uh, right now we're not showing the axis as I said it's an imaginary axis but if you want to you can click on this and it will show you an axis as you can see here and if I apply this change to all these park lines so I'll select all these park lines I'll go to design and here I would say show axis the reason it's only showing it for the first one is because there is only one negative data point in this case but if I introduce another negative data point here then it will show up for this as well you can also play with the vertical axis now in this case uh, the maximum and the minimum value for the vertical axis is automatic if you want it same for all the spark lines you can do it and you will see uh, things change for all these spark lines because now uh, since we have negative data points all the positive data points come out like this which is not a good representation but you can still play around with it you can also have a custom value if you want and you can type it here you can similarly have the vertical axis maximum value and similarly you can play, play around with it I would make it automatic here and, and let me uh, remove the axis and let me also remove these negative data points again going back to design there are these options as well if you want to clear uh, only the selected spark line you can use this option uh, notice when I go to this spark line and I hit delete key I'll not be able to delete it the reason being that this is a part of a group and I cannot delete spark lines just by hitting delete key so I would have to go to either uh, the design menu and clear here or I would have to if I'm in the home tab I can use this clear option as well so here you can either clear a selected spark line or you can clear all uh, the spark lines in that given group so if I click on this all these spark lines would be gone another thing that I want to show you here is let me press control Z is that it's not important that you should have the cell empty if I have something here so for example if I type the name of this country here the spark line would still show up and the text would also be visible so this may be helpful if you are resizing the spark lines and see what happens when I resize this when I resize this data you can see that the spark line would adjust itself based on the cells height and width so in this case when I increased the height of the spark line you can see that I can see these trends better now because they are highlighted in a way where they, these differences are highlighted well but if I had it in this way the difference was not that visible similarly you can play around with this you can also merge spark lines you can also merge cells so for example if I have this spark line I can merge these two cells and I can have it in a merged cell here so you can use it you can see uh, France looks like uh, an axis label and I have this thing here so you can play around with spark lines a lot but again this give, does not give you a lot of flexibility as compared to Excel charting you can use spark lines to create a trend for all the data but what if you have a goal in mind and you want to show what are the data points uh, that achieve that goal and what are the data points that do not so in this case I may want to create a reference line so for example here I have a number 60 million and I want to check what are the countries and what are the years in which that country has received more than 60 million visitors now if I simply plot the spark line here it will not be able to show me that thing so there are two ways I'll show you how you can uh, create uh, those spark lines where you would have a reference line uh, let me first insert a spark line here so I would go to insert and I would go to spark line line here I would 
select the data range as this for France and I would hit OK. Now I would drag it down for all these countries. So you can see I have these trends for all these given countries, but I do not have those countries or those points highlighted where the data is more than 60 million. So to do that, I would go to Axis and here I would say Custom Value for Axis Minimum Value Option. And here I would type 60 million. And as soon as I hit OK, you can see that there are only data points that are above 60 million are highlighted here and I can simply change this to a column chart and it would instantly tell me that in France all these years had more than 60 million visitors as compared to the US where it had only increased in 2011 and 12 and uh, in 12 the increase was significant so you can see that I have created a reference line which is not visible here because any data point which is below 60 million is not visible here another way of doing it would be to subtract 60 million from this and then you would get a set of numbers which would be positive or negative let me show you so let me create a copy I press control and I drag it here to create a copy and in this case what I'll do is I would delete this data set and I would say this is equal to the value here minus 60 million which is here and it gives me this value and I would drag it for all these years in all these countries now oops one small thing I need to lock this cell so I would hit F4 to lock this cell now I would drag it so you can see I have positive values and I have negative values and now I can plot the spark line here and I would go to insert and I would select as column spark line and here I would give this data range actually I would give this entire data range and I would hit OK and you can see that it has plotted these bar charts, uh, vertical bar charts, I can also go and say highlight negative data points and you can instantly see that it would show me all those data points which are more than 60 million in blue color and all those in uh, which are less than 60 million in red color. So now there is an analysis and I can instantly identify that France and US are probably the only two countries where uh, the number of visitors have been 60,000 and where if I'm a tourism company I need to focus here so uh, this is one way you can create a reference line and you can compare data in a more visual way so that's it in this video I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day